Hey guys, welcome back to another Surveying with Robert's Tuesday Tip. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you station elevation. Pretty much the same thing as remote elevation in Survey Pro, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in Access. So, first things first. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is I need to get a job set up and we'll call it I'll just call it elevation. Enter, accept. Okay, so first thing I need to do is get a backsight, right? So what I need to do is go into here. I actually have a control point. I'm gonna copy it from here to there. I'm just gonna copy a point. Say copy, select from list. I'm gonna do that point right there. Open. So first thing we're gonna do is go to measure, go to S5 instrument. We're gonna do station setup. So station setup, looks like I probably could stand to level that a little bit more. Close enough for what we're doing today, except target locked. temperature 80 degrees, it's already locked on the target. That's actually my Seco prism. Uh, so we're going to say instrument point names number one. I'm just going to say it's five foot. I'm going to shoot that as point number two. Call it a back sight. Back sight height is somewhere around five foot. Bearing. We'll just call it zero and measure. Store. Okay, so I got number two in here. I'm backsided, I'm oriented. So now what I wanna do is um, I need to shoot a remote elevation on that. So let's go into measure. Let's do a station elevation. Okay, the first thing you need to know about station elevation is that um, it needs a point. It needs something to shoot. So if I don't have anything, and the first thing I need to do is go shoot that point. So, here's my trick. I know that this is about 4400s. So let's go down here real quick. And we'll go down and shoot. We'll go down here and shoot that fire hydrant. Okay? So I don't need my pole. I'm just going to take my data collector with me. So let's walk down here and shoot this. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now, um, in order to do a station elevation, what I need is I need a point right here because I know with Survey Pro I can go in and just key an elevation in, but what Access wants is an actual point. Now I could create a, a BS point, call it 5,000, 5,000, shoot this, pull a remote elevation back, whatever I wanna do. I gotta be here anyways to shoot it, so what the heck. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna call this point name number 100. I'm going to measure topo. I'm going to call it top nut fire hydrant. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit F2 on the gun. So that's my uh, hotkey for my search. I'm going to say F2. Gun should turn around. Searching. Target locked. Gun's locked on me. Okay. The prism I'm going to use is going to be this uh, R10 360 prism, and I've already set the target height to 0 0.44. I measured it earlier from the center of the prism down to the bottom, appeared to be a 0 0.44. We're going to say accept. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that. Observation stored. Okay, so I've got that shot. Now then, what I need to do is I need to go into key in points. I need to pull up 100. Point name already exists, I know. So, point number 100, actually where I shot this a minute ago, it's at 500, so let's take this back. Let's say we want this at 200. Store. So now what I need to do is I need to store it, so I'm just gonna say store another. Okay, so I just stored it. So now, if I get out of this, and I back plumb out, and I go back to measure, 
and I go back to station elevation, it's telling me point number one is where I'm setting. I'm gonna say accept. So if we go and look real quick and we look at our point manager, you're gonna see that the top nut of the fire hydrant was 500. All of our points and everything are in the 400 range, right? So let's go station elevation, let's say number 100. Enter, top nut of fire hydrant, measure, Tolerance. So we got options. We're going to say store another because we already shot this while ago. We say results. If we look, the elevation uh, back at our gun, our point number one is now 197.71 instead of the 500. I say store. All I got to do is say overwrite. Now then, if I go in and go back into measure, I go back to measure topo 101. Okay, so if we look, there's our elevation, as you can see, for the fire hydrant was uh, 200. So that's what we're rocking right now. So that's how you change the elevation back on the gun. So if you were shooting like a finished floor, or if you were shooting, um, you know, a fire hydrant, uh, maybe a uh, railroad spike or a cotton, pick, cotton picker spindle on a power pole or a nail out in the intersection. You can do that to pull the elevation back to the gun so you don't have to run levels on it. So guys, hope that helps. As always, like and subscribe. Be careful out there. God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.